Hello. Hey, everyone. Good to see you. Thanks, everyone, for joining me here on the Call of Discovery stream today for The Glorious You by Sanctimonious. Uh, I am really excited. How y'all doing? Anybody we've got here, say hey in the chat. I know we've seen Stormstrong, uh, Stormstrong, Hyper. Uh, I think Ugluck was in there. So a lot of uh, a lot of good names that I've had the pleasure of commentating on before. Now we get to now we get to hang out and check out the glorious the glorious you today. So hey everyone, I'm excited about this. Um, definitely check out the list. Uh, I believe I pasted it in chat. I'll paste it again in case you've just showed up. Um, definitely check out the list of of everyone, uh, all the other games going on. Uh, we are going to be following uh, the first games we'll be doing will be Sad Cry Bear, uh, Sad Cry Bear versus uh, Alex Shepelev, which is pretty exciting. Um, and we can take a look at their decks. Can take a look at their decks here uh, before we get going. Hey, Hyper, I am doing well. I am doing well, man. So let's see here. I am not the most experienced streamer of all time, but I think I can probably uh, get a window shared here, and we can take a look. We can take a look at these decks together and check out this matchup. But it's going well. It's a good Sunday morning. Had a productive day yesterday. Uh, was able to get a free trial on the streaming software that uh, is super easy to use. So you know, <laughs> it's always a great day when you don't have to pay for something like this, and you can uh, just use it for one, for one, for one event. All right. Uh, so let's see. Boop. Boom. All right, Zap Cam is loaded in. Yeah, it looks like the Zap Cam was loaded in. If you can't see me, let me know. Uh, but let's see if I can switch this over to uh, to an application window here. Perfect. Let's check this out. So uh, here is what we've got today, uh, I believe. Let's see, uh, whose deck whose deck is this? This is Authentic Spencer Magnus, uh, which is Alex Shepelev's deck. So this is Alex's deck here. Um, this is going to be a pretty fun matchup because Alex's deck is a Call of the Archons deck with pretty great expected Amber, Triple Control the Weak, uh, some hilarious... Uh, oh, I had it on screen, now it's gone. Uh-oh. This is, um, there we go. Okay, that should do it. This is, uh, I think there's a reason the software has a free trial, but anyways, brilliant. Uh, so this is Alex's deck, Authentic Spencer Magnus, a real fun triple control a week deck, plenty of expected amber, uh, sanctum with a round table, which is fun, double John Smith, zookeeper. So lots of really fun uh, Call of the Archons. Lots of really fun Call of the Archons picks here. Loving um, loving seeing the Mars, the irradi irradiated Amber and Martian Hounds while they don't make the decks. Um, I'm just excited to see those funky cards get played at a high level today. So uh, excited to see that. Of course, it's a Call of the Archons deck without a whole lot of archive or extra draw. So not much extra speed. So... Alex's calls about holding cards, right, are going to be uh, absolutely crucial. Um, does Alex keep a great hand that happens to have a rise in an early game? Um, what what does he use for a rise? Uh, it's, you know, ideally it would be, you know, ideally it would be maybe Dis later um, or Mars if uh, if he's got it. But um, yeah, so lots uh, lots of interesting decisions. Um, if that Mars board stays on, if there's some John Smiths. And Zookeeper, uh, that's going to be tough. Uh, that could be easily pretty tough for, for Sad Crybear to deal with. Uh, Sad Crybear is playing Liverbrand, the Nameless, Emptiness Officer. Got about three minutes here. Worlds collide uh, a lot faster. There's, uh, there's Double Information Officer. Oh, that's not for... Yes, that is Speed. Double Information Officer Gray. Uh, we've got Transporter Platform, Double Stealth Mode. Um, Quants, Millie, and Code Monkey. So lots of lots of archiving. Um, so it's going to be it can be maybe a pretty tough control the week call um, if uh, if there are uh, if there's some information officers really helping make an archives that's a little bit a little bit control the week proof. Um, however, there's not so much house cheating uh, that um, 
there's not so much house cheating that the controller leaks are kind of uh, are kind of negated. So I'm pretty excited. Gleeful Mayhem uh, is really going to help uh, against uh, those priority uh, Mars targets. Uh, Exum is going to be great. I love seeing I love seeing Snag. Snag is going to be a really fun one. Um, and remember, the players picked these decks after drafting, uh, essentially drafting the three houses that their deck would have, and then went out and found the best deck they had or had access to uh, that would have all of these. So we are going to switch this back to, uh, for ease, back to just TCO. Here, let's see, let's see. Awesome. All right, I know it's blank. Get this updated. There we are. Brilliant. And let's see. It is not uh, not looking like they have started their game yet. So we will hang out. We will hang out while we, while we wait for that. So between the two, um, man, they're both <clears throat> they're both very good decks. Both are uh, lower on amber control than um, you know you might think if you're placing a lot of value on amber control. Uh, Live a brand just has seven point three um, from the single and furnace quad recorder, first officer frame, cutthroat research, and science officer kin can, and then. Uh, the Call of the Archons deck, Alex's deck, Authentic Spencer Magnus has Grabber Jammer, Schuler, Terms of Redress, Frankus, and Yaxili Marauder. So managing the other person's, uh, the the Amber Control management is going to be really interesting. Do they just zoom through it? Uh, at least, you know, does Liverbrand just zoom through it because they're so fast? Relying on the stealth modes and other things to, to turn it off. Um, and will Spencer, uh, will he hold cards or does he just play them out? What's what's the strategy for this deck? Does this deck control elsewhere? Um, I mean, you need Amber control at a certain point, but I'm excited to I'm excited to see uh, how these players how these players shape it up. So uh, I suspect we will have go a few minutes after eleven here. Uh, let's see. Letting everybody know, Call of Discovery is ready to go. Brilliant. Oh, they are sending links to challenge for the players. That is awesome. Lovely, lovely little, uh, lovely little resource developed by Sky Jedi, which is awesome. Uh, later, we're going to have a run, he said. Uh, a, a Keyforge player. She's on Twitter a bunch. She has done uh, quite a bit of media for Hearthstone, so she is no stranger to to being on camera and card games. So I'm excited to have her on board. She's got some other uh, commitments uh, this morning into early afternoon. We should have her right around uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time here on the East Coast of the United States. Should have her right around then, so maybe for uh, at least the last two matches. Uh, I would hope. I would hope so. We'll have her on for that. So very excited, very excited to have her along. Very excited to have her along. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> ah, great. People are people are getting ready. Apparently, uh, Dave Cordero is running his five uh, five Eddie's deck, and apparently his opponent has a double Grunt Buggy deck. So that's um, that's hilarious. Uh, I can't wait to see how that how that match goes. Um, he's asking to randomly, uh, as a joke, of course, randomly get three extra hours for their game because that's uh, that's going to be that's going to be a little bonkers. That's going to be a little bonkers. So uh, let me know if I'm sounding good. I feel like uh, you would have hit me up. If uh, I am a little too quiet, I've got a little bit more room on my on my mic here if needed. Uh, I'm also naturally a loud speaker. So uh, excited to see our control the week plays today. Uh, control the week stealth mode. Awesome. 
Thank you, Asher. Control of the week, stealth mode, snag. Uh, there are going to be some really fun. Oh, Born It's Touch is in the uh, Worlds Collide deck and Sad Cry Bears deck. So really excited to see the choices that get made. Uh, the choices that get made there. Awesome. Welcome, uh, Vivi Bobby Rev. Welcome. Thank you for the, uh, the comment on the sound. And uh, where are you hailing from, Vivi Bobby Rev? You're the first person in chat I don't recognize. Maybe you go by something else, some, some, uh, something else somewhere else, and I do know you. But love how international this is. I mean, maybe, maybe you're, maybe you're here in Georgia, USA, with me. Stash is looking nice. Yes, I trimmed it this morning. Actually, uh, it was getting a bit too Sam Elliott. It was getting a bit too Sam Elliott for me. But uh, yes, uh, let's see. Yeah, the snags, the gleeful mayhem's worn its touch are going to be big plays from the uh, from uh, the worlds collide deck from Liverbrand. Transporter platform out early would really be amazing with uh, information officer Gray, Medic Ingram, uh, First Officer Frain. Lots going on there. Um, but there are just uh, the deep probe is going to be huge. Russia, love it. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Well, welcome, welcome, Vivi Bobby Rev from uh, from Kursk. Love love to have you here. Thanks for jumping in with us. Is uh, let's see. Have you just randomly jumped in with us, uh, or is or uh, do you know either one of our competitors, Sad Crybear or Alex Shipilev? All right, going to check for the game again. Should get going here in a moment. Nothing yet. Alex, awesome, fantastic, fantastic. Excited, excited to see Alex driving authentic Spencer, Spencer Magnus here and uh, the kind of plays, the kind of plays he he gets going. All right, all right, all right. Check in. Checking uh, Discord, making sure I'm not missing anything. <laughs> Awesome. We've got a lot of people in on this, which is just the, the coolest, the absolute coolest. Lots of people. Everybody is really in on this. We've got Tabletop Royale. We've got Blake from Help from Future Self. Uh, I think we've got pretty much all of uh, pretty much all of Sanctimonious uh, rocking and rolling on this one. All of the hosts uh, we have Aurora and Texlet following uh, Not Tonight through, which is going to be great. Um, man, who else do we have? Uh, Tabletop Royale mentioned them. Uh, Mortivus and D House should be on at some point uh, as well. So uh, Muffins, uh, Muffins uh, always has a great uh, UK Keyforge stream. So check them out if you're looking for a, a laid back kind of uh, a laid back amount of hilarity as they follow as they follow some games. So always a good time there. Always a good time there. I keep getting nervous that I'm going to miss uh, miss the start of this match, um, but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing our uh, other competitors loaded in yet, so I don't think I have don't think I've missed anything. Asking for a stream team tag on Discord once those games are up so that we don't miss. So that we don't miss jumping right into those. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. There have been rumors from uh, Cryogen, the uh, lead... Uh, the kind of a uh, lead caretaker, I think, is the the title he's landed on for the Crucible Online for TCO. He has teased some uh, updates or options or improvements of some kind to TCO that will make it more uh, streaming friendly, which is great. So uh, I think he had planned a few weeks ago to do uh, maybe two weeks ago to do a stream where he previewed some of those things as he worked on them. Uh, I don't think I don't think that happened though. Just real life happens. 
but uh, I'm excited about those. What sorts of updates he might? Uh, what sorts of updates he might uh, jump into? Jump into that will make streaming uh, even more, even better. Uh, I know there's a couple of things that are very hard to see if you are watching a KeyForge stream. Like the keys are a bit hard to see. A few other things are a bit hard to see on uh, on just a regular stream. So excited, uh, excited about the improvements there. Excited about the improvements there. I know uh, he may have swapped out that time for fixing a few things like not being able to uh, forge keys without your opponent's permission in manual mode because uh, we were getting a large number of trolls on TCO who were just uh, jumping in and forging keys in manual mode. So not not awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to have a tag. I'm going to get tagged in Discord as soon as this is ready to go here. As soon as this is ready to go here. Let's see. Looking at Alex's deck, Alex uh, has... Uh, there's an Ember Imp there, uh, which, is, which is great. Uh, I do like Ember Imp with Round Table and can, uh, Protect the Weak. Uh, round table, of course, giving all night creatures taunt. There's a number of them in this deck, and then protect the weak gets gives plus one armor and taunt, which is uh, that'll be fun to protect Ember Imp, John Smith, Zookeeper, uh, those sorts of things. Double Marauder is interesting. Of course, the, the players had restrictions on how these picked these decks. Of course, so can't blame anybody for having a uh, having double Marauder uh, in this in this sort of a situation, but. Uh, there is a hysteria in Alex's deck. Um, I don't. I don't really think. I don't really think Sad Cryberry is too worried about the hysteria. To be perfectly honest, most of the Star Alliance creatures, of course, hit on play. Um, there's Doctor Millie and Code Monkey uh, that are going to trigger just fine on on hysteria. There's Infernus, um, Buzzle. So. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. I think. I think holding holding the swing cards or playing well the bornet's touch making the right choice there the call of the uh control of the week is going to be real important all right games are up i am so excited about this alex versus sad cry bear all right let's refresh here so if we can see him uh Awesome. Oh, it's all unknown versus unknown, which is going to make this much tougher to find if their names are different. All right, not getting a hit on an Alex. Let's see. Iwaldus, J Power. All right, not seeing. Now we might have to wait for them to jump in the game for it to actually be created uh, or it be visible to me. So uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Hmm. I think Sad Cry Bear. I think Sad Cry Bear has the same name. Let's see here. Okay, so Sad Cry Bear apparently has a game up, but we can't find it because we have not been provided a PTO name. Uh, okay, here we go. Got a link. All right, give me just a moment.
see if I can find them on here. All right, yes. Well, the way the way I've been provided this link is not conducive. Uh, give me just a moment here. Password, are you case sensitive? Perfect. All right, and then moving the stream. There we go. All right, we are ready to go here. And the chat does not appear to be working. I will let them know in Discord. Brilliant. So I'm letting them know in Discord that we are ready to rock and roll. Um, that we are ready to rock and roll. I think some people are having a little bit of trouble, uh, a little bit of trouble finding the games just because there is a, uh, the, it is saying unknown versus unknown at the top, uh, which is just uh, probably a, a error. Hmm. All right. All right, looks like they Okay. So, according to their According to their logs, I exited the game already. Which is not great. Now let's get this back up. Thank you for bearing with me. This is uh, just not the way I planned on. Not the way I planned on getting the game up. All right. Hmm. <sighs> Ah, okay. You see the game? Brilliant. Awesome. Awesome, we are rocking and rolling. Alex versus Sad Crybear here in the round one of the Glorious You. Thank you all for bearing with us as we as we worked through that. Very excited about this matchup. Worlds Collide, uh, piloted by Alex versus Sad. Uh, excuse me, uh, Worlds Collide, piloted by Sad Crybear against Cole the Archons. Alex, Alex takes the mulligan. 
Sad Cry Bear does not Sad Cry Bear on the turn one. Uh, player one, turn one, single card play here. So there is our 35 minute timer. We are officially underway in the first round of the Glorious U, the top cut, top, uh, top 16 people. Very exciting, very exciting. Sad Cry Bear, uh, considering what their first play is, uh, it looks like Sad Cry Bear did actually. Okay, and Sad Cry Bear opens with the Transporter platform. That is an awesome, an awesome first turn play. Alex uh, playing Tendrils of Pain, getting an Amber from that Dominator Bobble Down. So getting an Amber and the Bobble Down, good play. Transporter platform, very strong opener for Sad Cry Bear with all of those things that Sad Cry Bear wants to bounce. Uh, Science Officer King Can, perfect timing for that as Alex does have an Amber to uh, to get stolen as it now gets stolen as he goes into Sanctum. Uh, that quad recorder. Oh, I have. Okay, I will I will move my, my camera a little bit later so the uh, uh, card mouse overs can appear there. But Alex going into Sanctum, dropping down Commander Remiel, Bulwark, and Frankus. Uh, a really great, a really great board. Alex will be able to, if that board stays, really take out uh, Sad Cry Bears, um, Sad Cry Bears creatures while keeping their own. Uh, the only, the only issue, of course, will be gaining Ember at the same time if Sad Cry Bear is dropping most of their elusive creatures out. Back over to Sad Cry Bear. Uh, Sad Cry Bear with two Amber, one earned, one stolen. Alex getting one Amber up with Terms of Redress, uh, which uh, hit, uh, no, excuse me, Shield of Justice, which uh, did not have any effect there. Sad Cry Bear into Logos, stealing another one. So Science Officer King Can pulling its weight. Uh, Dr. Uh, Doctor Millie archiving two cards, which is a great early game play. Code Monkey then archiving Dr. Millie, Cutthroat Research, to, uh, both of the cut throat research is now Alex being able to jump up as high as he wants with those in the discard pile. Uh, but Sad Cry Bear up to five Amber and archived Dr. Million two other cards, which is a great move. Alex with the deep probe. This was one of our swing cards we were looking at before the match. What is he going to call Star Alliance? What gets hit? Medic Ingram and Information Officer Gray uh, get hit. That is a great hit, especially especially with that transporter platform out information officer gray was about to archive two cards. Uh, and yeah, that was absolutely great. And uh, medic Ingram could have warded science science officer. Kin can good call on the deep probe there. Good call on the deep probe. Uh, then grabber jammer coming out, irradiated Amber and uh, let's see an Exilia Marauder. So Alex getting a nice board here, uh, setting up for setting up for the future. Sad Cry Bear has begun with a burst. Sad Cry Bear beginning with the burst here, trying to go fast and efficient with just enough control to keep Alex down. But let's see what Alex's large board can do in response. Sad Cry Bear, of course, with a single, uh, a single. Oh no, no, it's Alex with the hysteria. So. Uh, there is a red alert, which could do some damage, three damage to all, although that armor is really going to help. Re armor is really going to help prevent prevent some of that. Sad Cry Bear picking Logos, picking up all of their cards. Dr. Millie coming out. That is going to be a three card archive for Dr. Millie. We have five total cards archived off of that Dr. Millie. Uh, that Dr. Millie now. Uh, let's see. I believe that's Universal Recycling Bin. Uh, which is which is great for bringing purge cards back. Double Quant, and that is Side Cry Bear's entire hand. That is what you want to see in a Logos Star Alliance disc deck from Worlds Collide with that sort of speed. Code Monkey Reaping, Sad Cry Bear now at check with a seven, deciding not to try to deal with the Grabber Jammer. I think that's worth it, just getting your speed out there, all your tiny creatures. Alex going into Sanctum. Uh, I, expect to see, I expect to see lots of punching. Lots of Logos creatures are about to get punched in the face. Terms of redress coming out. Sad Cry Bear very, being very redressed. Uh, putting on pants, as it were. Thou shalt wear pants, Sad Cry Bear, and you're not going to forge a key either. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple of reaps here. Uh, Frank is fighting Quant, capturing an Amber Bulwark, fighting Science Officer Remiel, uh, reaping, using Grabber Jammer to fight, finishing off the Kin Can, capturing. But he doesn't have Brobnar. What do you mean he doesn't have Brobnar? Did I say he has Brobnar? Uh, let's see. Discarding a The Spirit's Way. 
Of course, uh, that would be an awfully, awfully terrible move at this point. So Sad and Crybear down to three Amber and pool quite a bit on Alex's creatures, uh, but no way to really get rid of Alex's creatures right now. And all of those creatures with Amber would survive. Uh, oh, about punching. Mm. Uh, all of those creatures would survive a red alert at this point. So we'll see how Sad Crybear, uh, how Sad Crybear deals with this. Alex certainly has... Uh, certainly has the better board state right now, especially with that two armor Commander Remiel out. Uh, he's going to be able to call Sanctum and use that uh, use that Grabber Jammer every turn for a reap and capture. Side Crybear going into Logos. Uh, a particular outside Crybear could have here is slamming the Logos creatures into various other creatures if they uh, if Side Crybear does have a red alert uh, somewhere in archives. Twin Bolt Emission coming out. Let's see what that hits. I assume that's going to go across the board. I assume that's going to go across the board. Uh, it can only The only thing it can take out is the Marauder. So I assume the Marauder to prevent that reaping and then maybe damage on uh, perhaps the Frankus. Because one would get through and that would shut the Frankus down a little bit more. Yep, the Marauder and the Protectrix. The Marauder and the Protectrix. Self-Bolstering Automata coming out. A wonderful card. Wonderful card that will stay out as long as there's other friendly creatures out and about. Quant Reaping, allowing another non-Logos action card. Exhum coming out. Exhum coming out. Let's see. Not a huge pile to pick from here. Uh, we've got Science Officer Medic Ingram, and it is Information Officer Gray, allowing Sad Crybear to reveal and archive a card. They are revealing Snag. Snag goes into the archives. If Sad Crybear manages to wrest control of the board from Alex, a snag could certainly be a wonderful control card to get out. Code Monkey, Fighting Protectrix, taking out Protectrix, not wanting that healing, uh, no damage ability, uh, healing invulnerable ability to turn back on. So, uh, Dr. Millie Reaping, Sad Crybear now back up to 9 Amber. Sad Crybear now back up to 9 Amber, check. Check at nine amber. Alex going straight into Sanctum. Frank is fighting Gray, capturing an amber. Remiel reaping. Grabber using Grabber Jammer. Reaping with Gamber Jammer. Capturing Bulwark fighting Quant. Side Crybear will forge at exactly seven here. Alex is at check with a six with a whole lot more ap uh, amber captured. So uh, I don't think Alex is too worried about that first key as he should get his first one himself uh, unless Side Crybear uses. Uh, a little bit of his very limited Amber Control. But Alex is in a relatively good spot. A three armor, no damage grabber jammer. Frankus looking a little rough, but that's okay. Frankus has been doing work, taking out creatures, keeping Sad Crybear off a key or two. Sad Crybear considering, considering their house. Uh, we have not seen much dis yet. I actually don't think, I don't think Sad Crybear has called dis at all. We might have a couple discards in that archives. I know we've got Snag in there. Millie archives some things that we didn't see. Yep, calling disc, picking up the archives. Exactly like we thought, chat. Exactly like we thought. Binding Irons. Oh, giving Alex three chains. That is, uh, that is not great for a slow Call of the Archons deck without much archive or speed. Harbinger of Doom coming out. Uh, that is a board clear. Of course, that is a board clear. That is going to threaten Alex's position here. All of his hard work. Gleeful Mayhem, and there goes the Gleeful Mayhem uh, targeting, of course, the Harbinger of Doom, taking out the rest of the board. Sad Crybear up to five Amber after getting four from Alex's creatures. Snag coming out. Double Snag. Blood Shard Imp. Creatures, uh, any creature that reaps must be sacrificed. And back over to Alex. Alex will forge Sad Crybear almost to that second key. I would say Alex was behind if Sad Crybear had gotten to that second key, but not quite yet. Sad Crybear has not really been able to pull off a lot of their big tricks. Yes, gateway to dis. Yes, yes, Sad Crybear anticipating the same thing. Yep. Uh, gateway to dis, uh, clearing uh, clearing those snags. Shuler coming down to steal. Ember Imp to restrict. So... Uh, not a whole lot of amber for Alex right there, but an exhausted self-bolstering automata, an ember imp coming out. Sad Cry Bear is uh, on the back foot, at least for this turn, going to need an answer. And Alex saw him uh, use one of his gleeful mayhems. 
there's one Gleeful Mayhem left. That if said Crybear has that, that would be relatively easy to get rid of uh, to get rid of the Ember Imp. However, that would kill off a self-bolstering Automata, which only survives if there are any other friendly creatures in play. So, said Crybear thinking here, choosing Logos. Titan Guardian coming out. Code Monkey. Where's the Code Monkey going to go? Who's that going to archive? Okay, it's going to archive both Logos creatures to get that two Amber up to check at six. Excuse me. And that is turn. That is turn. Just crawling up to check inside of the Ember Imps restrictions. Alex straight into Mars, confident. Uh, John Smith coming out. Mother Gun coming out. You look Megamouth coming out. Discarding Martian Hounds. A lovely Mars setup. That is going to be a lot of Amber and Reaping per turn if Sad Crybear doesn't have an answer. Sad Crybear going to Forge now at six. Alex uh, at four chains. Uh, yes, Alex at four chains because they chained themselves up even more with that gateway. Paying, paying in three additional cards for the privilege of knocking out those two snags. So there's Sad Crybear with the Forge. Sad Crybear with the Forge. And while he is thinking, I'm actually going to see if I can move my things. Well, Sad Crybear thinks. Ha ha! All right, we'll move my, my graphic a little bit more here. Brilliant. Awesome. Sad Crybear going into Dis, playing Bornet's Touch. They are seeing Control the Weak. Uh, they are seeing Control the Weak. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. Uh, we are seeing Control the Week, John Smith, Roundtable, Marauder, and Maxina purging Control the Week. Uh, two more left in the deck, and we have not seen any of them yet. Great game closers. So Alex holding on to those. We haven't seen those. We can assume those are maybe in hand uh, or in deck. Are the only other places those might be? So Alex's deck getting shuffled. Gleeful Mayhem coming out. Uh, I assume that is going to remove the Ember and Plum play. Yes, uh, taking out a Ulick Megamouth as well. Uh, as there are no creatures for Zookeeper to abuse, so John Smith is actually uh, the less dangerous of the two. So good call there. Alex with the Control of the Week, uh, the second of three, pushing uh, pushing Sad Crybear into Dis now. These calls are going to be pretty important. Let's see what Sad Crybear does with a Dis turn here. Toxin coming out, Schuler reaping, Diamond Air Bubble to reap with John Smith. What can Sad Crybear do on a Dis turn? Sad Crybear has a Buzzle. What else does Sad Crybear have in Dis? Oh, and an amazing Control the Week call from Alex with only a Buzzle. Buzzle doing absolutely nothing. Toxin reaping in Alex's now Dis turn. First Officer Frayne getting hit by that Toxin. Dominator Bobble using John Smith. Reaping, getting up to check for the second key. Sad Crybear uh, at two keys, two Amber. So ahead of Alex here, but Alex is certainly in control. Reaping with Schuler. Uh, do we have another Control of the Week or is that in the last eight cards? Do we have another Control the Week from Alex to keep Sad Crybear shut down? Reaping with Schuler, considerations, not seeing any options on the table. So Alex, I think, is considering what to play. This could be considering, do does Alex play the Control the Week to get the advantage here or wait to use it as a closer later? Keeping in mind, of course, that Alex uh, is... A bit ahead, they're at a turn, a forge turn ahead, about one amber, in in reality. Uh, discarding Schuler, okay. Discarding Schuler to to draw more cards, uh, probably trying to prevent the red alert play because I don't think we've seen the red alert quite yet. Uh, yeah, haven't seen the red alert, so probably discarding that to prevent the red alert play, uh, so that Toxin can survive a red alert. Sad Crybear going into Star Alliance. Alex is on check. 
Alex is on check. We've seen most of Sad Crybear's uh, Amber Control at this point. So we'll see what they have in Star Alliance. They do have that transporter platform out, which has not been used yet. Ladies and gentlemen, Archon's all. The transporter platform has not seen any action yet. Information Officer Gray coming out. We're going to reveal and archive a card and then probably do that again. Probably do that again with transporter platform. Plasma Nozzle coming out to Information Officer Gray. Nice. Uh, some good setup speed here with the archives and the Plasma Nozzle getting uh, several amber off of that with the transporter platform. So this is a lovely, a lovely just three card Star Alliance play here for Sad Crybear in that he is able to archive some cards for his closeout turns, his potential closeout turns while gaining amber off of that Plasma Nozzle. I assume the gray and Plasma Nozzle would come back out. Okay, we're seeing Ingram. We're seeing Ingram first. Perhaps he holds it. Uh, perhaps he holds it. I'm not sure why he would. Uh, but perhaps he holds the information officer. Gray plasma nozzle coming down onto a warded. Okay, there they go back down. Plasma nozzle onto the warded medic Ingram. Information officer Gray and stealth mode. There it is. So there it is. Sad cry bear with, uh, with the very kind stealth mode notification in chat. Easy to miss those. So no actions for Alex. Yeah, Alex saying big one there. Alex saying big one there, as I'm sure Alex had some some has some nasty action cards in their hand. So big stealth mode play there. And I believe this card is a zero. I believe that's the first stealth mode we've seen. So Alex into into Mars, Mother Gun revealing Squawker and Zookeeper dealing two damage to Medic Ingram, painting the ward, playing Zookeeper, reaping with John Smith, readying Zookeeper, archiving the Medic Ingram from play with Zookeeper, readied by the John Smith, discarding Squawker. For some reason. Why is he discarding Squawker? Why is he discarding Squawker? I don't understand. Doesn't he want the Amber? I must be I must be missing something because Alex has, has gotten to this point. I must be missing something on the Squawker discard. Oh, because stealth mode. I'm an idiot because stealth mode is in play. Um, and uh, he can't. He can't. That's why we need reminders on this on this thing uh, for silly people like me. So discarding the Squawker because he can't play it. Yes. Oh, hey, Dan. Oh, that was embarrassing. Uh uh, discarding the squawker because he can't play it. So definitely, definitely good plays by Sad Crybear there. Um, definitely good plays. So Sad Crybear back into their turn. Uh, <laughs> awesome, awesome. So Sad Crybear back into Sad Crybear's turn. We haven't seen the other stealth mode, uh, which, based on Alex's great tools, would be an awesome thing to play here for Alex or for Sad Crybear to try to. Close it out, avoiding a control of the weak, trying to shut them out, uh, reaping with information officer Gray to reveal an archive card, revealing in furnace. Oh, and Alex saying GG. Both of these decks are relatively limited on Amber Control. Alex saying GG as uh, I think just Sad Crybear getting to check in this situation means Alex means Alex cannot uh, Alex cannot take Sad Crybear off of check. Uh, these matches are best of one. We're going to, I think, best of three for the finals. Uh, Dan can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so Sad Crybear will advance. Alex knocked out round one here, but with a great showing uh, playing the deck well. There is not much you can do about uh, a, a well-timed stealth mode when you are trying to control the weak. When you're trying to control the weak. Uh, and especially when you don't get your uh, round table and protect the weak's uh until late game that is that is rough at well but well played by both players alex getting up to check uh alex getting up to check showing off his <laughs> showing off his hand at the very end here this amazing this uh huge lovely uh this huge lovely um sanctum hand so great game by both thank you very much to our participants thank you very much to our participants there uh, well played. So Sad Crybear will advance. We're going to take a peek, uh, take a peek at the uh, at the uh, 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 let's see group. Um, what is this thing called? It's a bracket. It's a bracket. We're going to take a look at the bracket here. Uh, they will Sad Crybear will play the winner of Oopdi of AFK versus One Star Peeps of the USA. So whoever wins that will be facing Sad Crybear and the Worlds Collide deck that we just saw. Then the winner of that will go. Uh, will face the winner 
of Not Tonight and Strong Link. That is uh, Not Tonight and Grant Titus of Team Knowledge is Power. So uh, hit up the Keyforge, uh, hit up the Keyforge category just beneath me to um, hit up the Keyforge category just beneath me to see other uh, other streams for Keyforge that are still going on for the glorious you definitely jump over to those uh, and we will be back with our next uh, we will be back with our next match which uh, double checking to make sure I am saying this correctly here uh, yes yeah that is going to be uh, Sad Cryvair versus the winner of Ookti versus One Star Peeps so uh, we are going to let those games wrap up I'm going to take a short break definitely hit up the other streamers uh, definitely hit up the other streamers there, and we will be back uh, in probably about 10 minutes or so. See you soon.